Hey, it's Tarot Tuesday today. Yes. <laughs> the weeks are just flying by, guys. Flying by. Uh, it's from June 26th to July 2nd. Mm, God. Gonna shuffle them up. Why not, right? Get them all shuffled and ready to go. Alrighty. Okay. Aries. Five of Cups. All right, Aries. This week, for some reason, you're going to be focusing more on the negative than the positive. So my advice to you is focus on the positive and try to forget about the negative. Because you know what? It doesn't usually get you anywhere. So, yeah. Trust me. I have a habit of focusing on the negative and not the positive, And it doesn't get me anywhere except for stress. So, yeah. Taurus, five of wands. <laughs> God, see a pattern there, guys? Fives. All right. Um, as you can see, they're all trying to compete with each other. So, Taurus, try not to like play the competing game, you know, if you can, because five of wands is usually competing, you know. But you are in a good place to defend yourself, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Gemini. Five of Pentacles. Oh my God. You saw me shuffle, guys. So, you know, I don't know. <laughs> what is with the number five? Uh, well, Gemini, you're going to feel like you're left out in the cold this week. Try not to focus on that because sometimes, you know, uh, situations change and everything, you know. One minute we can be, you know, feeling emotionally left out, emotionally, financially and all that. But don't focus on it because, like I said, things don't last. All right. Cancer. Seven of Pentacles. Ah, we broke the, what do you call it? The pattern. <laughs> all right, Cancer. Seven of Pentacles, you're going to be planting seeds for your future, taking step by step what you have to do for your future and everything, setting things in motion, put it that way. So yeah, that's you. Leo, Knight of Cups. Leo, <laughs> the Knight of Cups to me is someone who is, well, he's like the knight in shining armor. So if you put the Knight of Cups together, it's like you're going to be somebody's knight in shining armor, but you're going to be there emotionally for them. Someone's going to, you know, need some emotional help and, you know, maybe cry on your shoulder. You're going to be there for them, Leo. Because that's who you are this week. Virgo. Four of Cups. Virgo, for some reason, you are not like what's being offered to you this week. <laughs> you have, see all these cups over here? You have all these cups over here. That you should be focusing on, but you want the one that's out of reach. So you know what? Try to focus what's in front of you, not behind you this week. That's my advice for you, Virgo. So yeah. Libra. Two of Cups. Ooh, Libra. This week, you're going to have new, exciting relationships, friendships, whatever. But it's going to be new and exciting. Because that's what the Two of Cups is. Learning things about each other. You know. It's new. It's fresh. So yeah. Alright. Scorpio. Chariot. Scorpio. You're going to be cl going. Cl pl yeah. Let me try to say this again. You're going to be going places this week, Scorpio. Really fast. <laughs> Whether you're trying to hurry up and get on a plane. Or you going somewhere really quickly this week. Traveling. Yes. Sagittarius. The Empress. Sagittarius, you are that nurturing, that uh, motherly type of person this week. Someone who's going to be there for people, you know. And that's you. You like to nurture people. 
So, way to go, Sagittarius. Alright, Capricorn. Ooh, Capricorn. This week you are going to be celebrating, going out, having some fun, going with your friends, whether you're going to, you know, the movies or out camping or just enjoying the beach or something, but you're going to be enjoying yourself. You're going to have some fun this week, Capricorn. All right, Aquarius, the magician. This week we're going to be conjuring up things, Aquarius. Um... And we are, what am I looking for? Conjuring, uh, you have whatever's, you know, you got this. Is that what I'm looking for? I don't know. I can't think of it. I just drew a total blank for some reason. I have no clue. But you're going to be conjuring up. Um, you have things that you have to do and everything. And you're going to be doing it. And you got this. Because that's what magicians do. <laughs> oh. All right, one more, Pisces. Eight of Wands, Pisces. A lot of messages for you this week, whether it be, you know, messages in the mail or, you know, just messages coming your way. So, yeah. My advice to you is try to keep up with them. <laughs> You got to get back to people that you have to get back to, whether, you know, you're giving a phone call or, you know, you're answering your messages on your phone and everything. Get back to them right away. Don't let them wait. All right. We are going to read what the article has to say. <sighs> I'm telling you, today was a long day today at work. It was only three hours, but it felt a little bit longer today for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I was tired or or what, but it was just, it felt longer than usual. All right, I'm just going to shuffle these up really good today. What do you need to tell us, Oracle? For this week. Visualization. It's a cute little card. All right, let's read that and we'll talk about it. Let me put that back over here. Let's see. See, at the end of the book. All right, Petunia. And it says, the time is approaching when you will receive what is you have dreamed of, so be ready. The answer is yes to questions and perhaps with added dimensions you hadn't really thought of before. Goal, planning and setting, checking in, resolutions and reorganizations will all, all benefit from Tunia. So yeah, <laughs> sometimes you just got to reorganize things. Alright, let's see. This flower helps you see what is possible and then extend to even higher and bigger possibilities. Psychic abilities, messages, and readings are all indicated and you may find yourself exploring these skills and gifts yourself with positive outcomes. Arts and creative activities which turn into jobs are also strongly associated with this flower. Be careful of getting lost in pipe dreams, losing touch with reality, and not putting action into your plans. So yeah, just be careful that you don't go out and daydream and, you know, sometimes we have a habit of daydreaming and not, you know, we're all in our heads sometimes and not where we should be, put it that way. Affirmation. What I visualize, I can create. Keywords, visualization, inspiration, aspiration, wonder, limitlessness, and disbelief. So yeah, so that's us this week. <laughs> We are going to benefit from everything this week. Reorganizing, setting, doing things that we have to do, you know. Sometimes we need that, you know. Sometimes we just got to reorganize our life, you know. Just take bits and pieces from our lives and, you know, try to do things differently and, and whatnot. 
right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I mean, I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> uh, not a bad week this week for everyone, you know. It seems kind of uplifting and everything, so that's always good, you know. We need, we need some positivity in our lives. All right, guys, I'll see you probably, who knows, maybe Thursday, because I have Thursday off, and... If you like this give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell because if you don't hit the bell you won't get notified if I did a video or not all right keep smiling guys stay safe Mwah. bye